Hey there, welcome to my channel Code Canvas. In this video, we will learn about one of the useful background property called background repeat. So whenever you are using background image as setting the background and sometimes you want to repeat that image in the given container and sometimes you don't want to repeat. So background repeat CSS property in CSS defines how background image will repeat. Okay, so how it actually works. Let's say uh, we have body tag and uh, let's say we have some image. Okay, some image dot epic. So here in this given context, the body background repeat can be no repeat. The default value is repeat and it will repeat that image in both the direction in x and y axis okay so you can repeat x or repeat y or no repeat okay there are other values possible with this background repeat and we will see with actual example okay so let's say in html we have one class some box okay and let's copy this class here all right Let's give width 300 pixel, height 400 pixel, border 5 pixel. Let's keep it solid and red. Okay. Let's see. Let's add some margin. So 0.5 em. Okay. So this is. Now margin is there. Let me keep it height 300 and it's also 300. Okay, so let's add one background image here. Background with URL. We have image. Uh, let's call. Let me add put images and one image is there. A JPEG. Not PNG. Okay, so let's see. So, as you can see, default image is getting repeated. Okay, so right now we haven't added any background repeat property, but the default property is repeat. Okay, so if you don't want to repeat background repeat, no repeat, and it will be only one image. Okay, so with that, you can use repeat x and it will repeat in x direction. You can say horizontal direction, repeat y, that will repeat in vertical direction. Okay, no repeat, you be already uh, so that. Okay, and repeat will repeat in all the directions x and y. Okay, also one value is possible with space. So it will tie the image in both the direction. You can see little bit space between these images. Okay. So it will never crop the image unless it is a single image is too large to fit. Okay. So it is not cropping. You can see, right? Because it can fit this container. And if multiple images can fit, then space them out event, um, evently. Image is always touching the edge. So uh, right now a single image is that so we can we can see that okay the next value possible is round let's see how round works so as you can see it will tile the image in both direction right and it will never crop the image unless it is a single image and it is too large to fit so this is also a very useful property if you want to repeat that image in the round okay so uh, Apart from that, there are possibilities of using two values like repeat and space. So how exactly it works? This is horizontal repeat and this is vertical repeat. So if I'm using only single value like repeat, what does it mean? It will repeat horizontally and vertically too. So you, here you can use repeat or uh, you can give space. 
okay so in this example it will repeat horizontally and it will repeat space with space in vertical direction right so this is how when you use two values as background repeat okay so these are the possible values for background repeat css okay i guess that's all for this video guys if you like this video please give me a like if you want to see more videos like this hit the subscribe button and if you have something to say please leave a comment okay guys thanks for watching